when you are studying any matter or considering any philosophy, ask yourself only what are the facts and what is the truth that the facts bear out. This video will be depicting how we develop our cognitive abilities and morality, which can be demonstrated by studies performed by Jean Piaget and Lawrence Kohlberg. To justify the need for ethics, I will show the hierarchy of needs constructed by Maslow. By having this understanding of how we can develop our morality, will show a clearer image of how it impacts our lives. I will be comparing Creation Today, aka Cretin Today, to an agency I have worked with to test the ethical methods they use to meet the needs of their clients. The test will place a lot of emphasis on the action and services they both provide to promote the values they claim to hold. But first of all, I think it is important to outline how there are three main studies which revolve around the topic of ethics and morality. Normative ethics examines standards by the rightness and wrongness of actions. This is a standard of form of ethics which is determined by the outcomes of the actions and how they impact upon the individual and or group. Applied ethics is used in some aspects of determining public policy as well as by individuals facing difficult decisions. This form of ethics is used in the field of business to promote fairness between people in terms of creating boundaries and standards of conduct. The focus of meta-ethics is on how we understand, know about and what we mean when we talk about what is right and wrong. This form of ethics is more concerned with the virtues of the individual, for example understanding the motive behind their actions. Through the comparison we will examine how the charitable organizations incorporate each ethical study to provide an effective service. Maslow's hierarchy of needs demonstrates how our needs begin with our physiological needs, safety, love and belonging, esteem and self-actualization. In Piaget's model of cognitive development we can identify four main stages. The first stage is sensory motor, the second is pre-operational, the third is concrete operational and the fourth is formal operational. Kohlberg uses Piaget's insights into a model of morality, making links between the cognitive stages with the moral stages of development. Through Kohlberg's model of moral development we can identify six key stages where they are put into three levels. Kohlberg strongly believed that without cognitive conflict and dialogue we cease to develop. In summary, as outlined in the models portrayed by Piaget and Kohlberg, just obeying someone who claims to be an authority or simply bigger than you is not a rational reason to act on the standard. One of the agencies I worked with was called Lifetime Networks. They use a pluralistic approach in their work with young people. In their mission statement, it describes how we build to maintain networks of lifetime friendships to support people with disabilities. This reflects how the staff members co communicate with the young people by listening to their problems and helping them overcome obstacles they can identify and, and develop the skills they need to conquer them. On their website, it describes how the LTN values demonstrate a person rather than a program-centered planning. This basically means the young people are involved in the planning of activities and projects. This way, the young people will be able to contribute towards the goals they want to achieve. The second value demonstrates a commitment to maintaining networks for a lifetime of the person being supported. The third value makes the service more accessible with no eligibility or restrictions. The fourth value is to be respectful by recognizing and celebrating the inherent worth of each person as an equal. The fifth value is to promote financial respons responsibility by working diligently to keep services and support cost effective and affordable. The sixth service demonstrates the importance of unpaid relationships in the lives of the people uh, they support. And the final value of lifetime networks is to promote friendships and support people with disabilities. I can speak from my own observations and quite happily say how they have achieved and promoted all of the values they hold through their services. If anyone wishes to challenge this I will be more than happy to give references and links to their success. I will put a link in the description for you to examine it for yourself. Now let's take a look at creation today. 
Their mission statement explains how Creation Today seeks to impact individuals to know our Creator God and to wholeheartedly experience, defend and share Him through the foundations of Scripture. As a federal 51c3 not for pork profit corporation they hold the responsibility to provide religious educational charitable and scientific services I can't tell you how hard it was to find on the website the specific services they provide to promote the values of their belief in the end I basically came to the conclusion they pretty much just broadcast themselves talking about topics like science and ethics with no foundation to support their statements Let's review the work of the members who have taken part and are employed with Creation Today to promote the pluralistic approach they are obligated to use according to the MNCA. I'll make it easier by cutting it down to three of the representatives, Cite and Bruggenkate, Venom Fang X and Eric Hovind. Let's begin with Cite and Bruggenkate. He calls himself a herald when really, as you can see, are just as qualified as a tramp with a sign. When he was preaching at University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, he was thrown out because he was promoting hate against people who share different beliefs, more specifically Muslims, hijacking the 9-11 event to promote his own sick explanations behind it. Eric Hovind is guilty of being judgmental towards people who share their thoughts to him and quite happily plays the victim and labels Basically, them on these, as... I stumbled upon a third type of audience. The atheist, agnostic, antichrist, god-hating YouTubers of the world. To think he gave them the title of an atheist, agnostic, antichrist and god-hater simply because they disagreed with him. This truly is a great insight into how he puts his values into practice. He basically demonstrates how he couldn't give a shit for the multi-perspectival approach he is supposed to use as a member of a federal 501c3 not-for-profit corporation. And before you call me a hypocrite for being judgmental towards you, Eric, I'll outline the obvious for you. This channel and I do not represent a federal 501c3 organization who are obligated to meet the standards outlined by the MNCA. And now we come to Venom Fang X. As for Sean, I did think a simple reference to my God Damn It series would have been enough. Yet, thanks to a friend, I can show you this. As you can see, it is an essay Sean submitted in his philosophy studies. I do not wish to waste any time or oxygen reading it to you, but in summary, it is truly a pile of shit and an awful representation of the values he is supposed to promote. In fact, I think half of it was used by Cy Tim Bruggenkate when he was being a herald at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. In a nutshell, Cretan today have been completely outclassed by Lifetime Networks when it comes to promoting cognitive and moral development for their clients. As outlined in my last video response to Venom Fang X, the MNCA Statement of Values illustrates how the Creation Today services must provide the following values. You can observe for yourself by watching their videos which have accomplished none of them. Whereas Lifetime Networks, who have demonstrated the pluralistic ethical approach to be very effective when promoting the values. This is why I have a great passion to make videos on YouTube to expose the false charity of agencies like Creation Today. True generosity consists precisely in fighting to destroy the causes which nourish false charity. False charity constrains the fearful and subdued the rejects of life to extend their trembling hands. Real generosity lies in striving so those hands, whether of individuals or of entire peoples, need be extended less and less in supplication, so that more and more they become human hands which work, and by working, transform the world. To finish off, here are my ending thoughts for creation. Let's today. fix it. And I'm, I'm not being funny. I mean, no disrespect. But you're a cunt. You're a cunt, Nell. You've always been a cunt. And the only thing that's going to change is you're going to become an even bigger cunt.